And I'm always trying to get more reading in because it makes me feel so smart. So I'm listening to a lot of titles right now, and I'm doing that with Audible. I am about to embark on a journey with the audio title, The Plot, by Gene Hanf Korlitz. And I'm really excited that Audible is there to help me. As an Audible member, you can choose one title a month to keep from their entire catalog, including the latest bestsellers and new releases. There are thousands of titles. Try Audible free for 30 days. Visit audible.com slash crappens or text crappens to 500-500. That's audible.com slash crappens or text crappens to 500-500. I'm Anna. And I'm Emily, and we're the hosts of Terribly Famous, a new podcast from Wondery. From Adele to Victoria Beckham and Lily Allen, we take you inside the drama-filled lives of our most talked-about celebrities to find out what it's like to walk in their shoes. She means their beautiful Prada shoes. Listen to Terribly Famous wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Watch What Crap Ends, a podcast for all of that crap we love to talk about on your bravs. I'm Ronnie. That's Ben over there. Hello, Benoons. Hi, Ronnie. How's it going? Good. We are back with some below deck today. But first, join us Monday, August 21st for our next crappy hour. It's our Instagram live show uh, every other Monday night, first and third Mondays of the month. And that means it's coming up this coming Monday. So join us. Yeah. That's super fun. 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, this week's bonus episode is a shot-by-shot breakdown of the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City trailer, which is pretty amazing. It's our trailer trash, everybody. It's so good. For that. It's good. That's going to that's going to come up. I think uh, I think I'm going to put that up midweek on a day when we have fewer recaps. So that way, you know, it's not it gets out of the way of the traffic jam, right? Yeah. And yeah, there's a huge traffic jam on Bravo right now. We're just rolling with it. We're just rolling with it, people. Also, if you'd yep. rather watch these, our uh, recaps are all videos now on Crappens On Demand. You can watch them a week later at YouTube. Just look for Watch What Crappens over there. And that's it, I think. For yeah. now, let's get into Below Deck Down Under, episode 208, Great Sexpectations. Awkward <laughs> title after the past couple of episodes, guys. I know. <laughs> can we yeah, change that? Well, that's, that's a pivot. <laughs> how about... How about consenting adults? How about calling it that or something? I don't know. <laughs> something that acknowledges what we all just went through for a yeah. week. Um, I've been traumatized for a week. And they're like, great expectations, yes. Um, you know who's not traumatized? Mm. That big blue starfish that kicked off the episode. Did you see that? We just opened up on a big Big blue did starfish. you, as I did, scream starfish? Starfish. The second you saw that, like Amy, oh and my you know God, it was yeah. so weird. I was driving around the other day, and I was thinking of Amy from Below Deck, and I was thinking of starfish. I don't even know why it was in my head, but I just kept saying hi, starfish, and cracking up in my car. And <laughs> then we get the very next episode: a big hairy blue Muppet-looking starfish to yeah. open. It was wa- wacky. I actually, um, so uh, on Saturday, I went to Disneyland. And one of the rides that I went on was formerly, in my childhood, the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea uh-huh. ride, which is now like Nemo's Adventure or something like that. Hmm. And I haven't been on that in ages. And I went on it. And first of all, it's like amazing. It Basically, you're just like sitting there for 10 minutes watching B-roll from Below Deck Down Under. And I want, like, I really want to be like, Star! but you know there was a presentation going on so i didn't want i didn't want to interrupt but i felt like i was just like living in this show even though i was at disneyland were you like one prop one prop this boat has one prop (laughs) was it the same um thing where it's like you go on that you go in the the lagoon or whatever and then you can see through the boat and there's things in the water that you're looking at yeah, you look through a little porthole, you're in your own little, like, sort of like in an ocean gate submarine, and you're mm-hmm. kind of going around, but you're like, you're going to survive. And um, it was uh, it was cool because it was at night, 
And so I'd never been on that kind of ride at night. And so everything was like lit in a really cool way. And it was just like, it was like, I loved it. I could not believe how much I loved it. Oh, nice. I'm so jealous. I can't believe I'm jealous of somebody going to Disneyland in August <laughs> outside. But I, well, here I am you, jealous. You can make that dream a reality, you know? <laughs> it was a great time. Okay, so, oh, also, they, they're doing this thing. I don't know if they've always done it, but now at the beginning of episodes, before they go into the previous land, they do, uh, they show a shot of some kind of fish. So this time, they did a close-up of a stingray at the bottom of the ocean. It was mm. like, previously. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> and then in the next episode they showed, it was a... It's a, like a porn episode, I guess, still. So they're like two fish stuck together. And it's just oh, I, silence that of this? like the fish fucking. And then they pull the apart and it goes, previously. Oh, there's turtles. <laughs> They've got them all over the place now. But I love it. It's a great yeah. cold open. You know, There was, in this episode, there was a moment where there were these two like brilliantly colored fish just next to each other fucking and then they showed two snakes fucking like yeah. they were like let's get all the fucking fish yeah like literal fucking fish not like fucking fish like fucking fish i love that there's some intern who's just been putting all those putting all those clips of fucking fish into the bucket you know they're like yeah. surely we'll be able to use these fucking fish some at some point and they're like darren <laughs> we're finally using it darren i hope darren got a pizza party because they finally big- used all this b-roll Big day for porn stars of the fish world. Those were all the fish porn stars. Yeah. So big, beautiful, blue and hairy and amazing starfish. That's what I wrote. And it's morning and we're in the mess. And uh, Culver is like, all right, guys. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the aft straight. And I guess we can maybe work up, tie some ropes. I don't know. Business, business. It's like, "Mm." You're not really running with your chance to be the leader right now, Colv. Not killing it, right? Yeah. So, um, and Ace just telling Margo to prepare for a busy day because they were stewed down. And Margo then sees Harry and she's like, hey, can I get a Harry hug? I just love you. I feel so much better now. I just love you like a brother, like a brother who I would never, ever want to kiss again. <laughs> yeah. Can I just have a Harry hug? He's like. I haven't started to grow any hair yet. You can have a skin hug. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, Harry. You. Not your body hair. I'm all in. It's me. I'm a soul. Fucking hair. Poor Harry. Poor, Poor Harry. Harry. Is, is Harry ever going to get laid? I, just don't I don't get think a, so. Get, I don't get a big getting laid feeling from Harry. He really, you know what he really needs? He really needs uh, Bertini from last season. I feel like Bertini, he would have more luck with her. I think she I think would she just was, be perplexed just over saying Bertini because Bertini was really. She's like, you can't respect me and pronounce my name Bertini. No, your name's <laughs> fucking stupid. Okay, first of all, okay, you should respect me by not using that name. Change it, Brett. Maybe Teeny. I do. I would be fine with Teeny. Bertini is stupid. Okay. Yeah. I think really he terrible. would be per- perplexed because today, in one of the episodes <laughs> this week, he was. On his date with Margot, yeah, he's very uh, confused about how to say, how we say a word, and he's just not going to pronounce it that way. He's like, I will not pronounce <laughs> algae that way. Sorry. <laughs> Won't do it. No. That Listen, wouldn't work I'm, with Bertini. He he has a pronunciation issue every episode. Today's was Joao. So, um, uh, well, so preference sheet. Yeah. Preference sheet meeting. Um, so it's just Zarina and Asia because, of course, Luke was fired for sexual assault. And uh, the primary, Laura Desiree, is a New York-based news personality, LOL, for a live streaming website. She considers herself a sex journalist. So, uh, yeah, so I, I would love it. I have not looked into Laura Desiree's work. But I would love it if she was really doing the headlines on like Cam Four. Like she's like, it's like, oh, today Trump was indicted in Georgia, um, forest fires, wildfires in Hawaii, and I'm getting my pussy eaten out as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> Did Hunter Biden use crack cocaine with the leaders of China in the back of the White House? And has my face been come on this morning? It certainly has. I think. <laughs> we have a traffic today's jam w- up my asshole. <laughs> and now for today's weather, my boobs. <laughs> 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 uh, 
<laughs> so she's going to be joined by adult entertainer Sky, who you know Sky is a porn star because he has an extra Y on his name. I mean, and just, Sky, really? So you're basically a cheap vodka. Wow. Who came up with that <laughs> one, Sky? Really? <laughs> Sky, yeah, yeah. And then uh, Jesse Lee and Claudia and some Cam 4 staff members, Vanna Faye and Johnny. I don't know if her name was Vanna. Is, is it Vanna, comma, Faye and Johnny, or is it Vanna Faye? I don't know, because I don't think there was a Faye, was there? I, think I don't there think was... so. I feel like Vanna Faye sounds like someone's name. Vanna Faye, I like it. Vanna Faye. Have you seen the way to Van Effect? Just came on my face. That was the top <laughs> ten. <laughs> <laughs> this just in. A severe car accident on the way to Van Effect. Traffic is backed up for ten miles. Apparently, people were fucking in the road, and it was me. All the cars were stopping at me. So Serena's like, a lot of condoms. <laughs> and the captain's like, they want a food spread. Is that right? Just as their dad call. And he's just like, this is what I was worried about. I don't have a creative bone in my body. The thing tonight. What am I going to do? <laughs> and uh, Laura would like to be served as dessert on the final day. And uh, she wants her body decorated by the chef. Okay. Um, this is something else we just saw on Below Deck, except it was on Gary. I will literally eat off Laura too now. I'll eat off anybody but Gary. She, Gary would, made lo- anybody getting food eaten off them look attractive as long as it's yes. not Gary. I also have faith that Zarina will actually put some sort of protective banana leaves between the skin and the food. I just, Or just I hope so, because I'm still traumatized watching them eat sushi off of Gary's nipple hair. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Serena wants to paint her in chocolate, and she's like, "These are my sort of people." And the producer asks her if she watches porn, and she's like, oh, "You mean today? <laughs> I'm masturbating right now. I'm sitting across from Captain Jason. What else would I be doing? <laughs> Fucking hot, marrying that man. I'm watching the news. Of course, I'm masturbating. Um, <laughs> you seen that news, lady? So then, uh, Jesse Lee is a vegan. Oh, and also a second a second officer is coming this morning. No pun intended with porn stars. Get it? So, um, uh, and then there he's Jason's working on getting a second stew for Aisha. So Aisha's looking at the preference sheet and she's like, "Look at Laura, she's a babe." And Zarina's like, "That's definitely a face I'd sit on." <laughs> she's like, "No, oh, are you bi?" She's like, "I just like people." Oh, so you're attracted to the person, not the sex. Yes. I'm attracted to what's on the inside of M&M's. I just peanut and almond are my jam. The rest, I will not date the rest. Okay. Yeah. So um, then they start looking at the porn, at Laura's pornos. <laughs> I love this scene of them just watching the porn together. Because they're not just doing porn. They're doing, like, crazy porn. They're, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what are they even doing? And Zarina's like, we're going to have to look upside down on this. I'm not really even sure what's going on there. And Aisha's like, what's happening in this porn? <laughs> I definitely did look up that Sky guy. I forgot his last name. But I was like, okay, let me type in this person's name. And, like, my Google images were, it was just, like, a car wash of penises all over my browser. It was just, like, everywhere from all angles. I want to look. Okay, what's his name? So, I don't remember his last name. Is Sky, just like Sky Porn. Probably do Gay Porn Sky Eye. Okay, Gay. That's it. Porn Sky. It's that's like pretty. Sky Knox, Gay Porn Star videos from X Hamster. Should I look at that? God, yeah. I'm not gonna get arrested. X Hamster yeah. is adults only. I'm 18 or older. Um. Wow, well, uh, listen, the guy can, uh, <laughs> listen, he the is, guy works, okay? The guy is works. not asking for a free meal. <laughs> I'm going to tell has, you that. He has a large repertoire, <laughs> and, um, you know, he's... he's Why are we all. watching gay porn on this show? Okay. <laughs> Should uh, we put this on crap as on demand? <laughs> It'd be like the news. Well, the guy definitely works for a living. I will, I will, he's not lazy. <laughs> okay. So, um, then we go to watch the deckies clean, which I will say is a lot more boring now that I've just seen Sky take a few decks. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I know. A little bored, gotta be honest. It's much more exciting when the deckies are 
having sex and cleaning. Okay, so Mar- <laughs> so Margot is um, she's like she's like oh man like these days are gonna be so much and you're gonna see how bad I am at Decoratia. She's like oh I'm going into this charter with just Margot and myself and she's very green. Margot's going to do the mornings and I'm going to do uh. Mornings, middle, and night. I just hope that we're going to get a new stew before I die. Oh. And then we see legs coming down the dock. And cuts to Culver and he's like, people get fired all the time, which sucks. Never like to see that, but there's always a kid waiting on the docks with a backpack. Legs, 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 legs. Legs, legs. And then it cuts back, and Harry's like, What if it's a dickhead? <laughs> but then, as this person approaches, we realize the music isn't going, Da-na-na-na-na. it's actually going, Zim, 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 zim. Zim, 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 zim. Zim, 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 zim. Zim, 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 zim. And it's Chihuahua. No. And now they put a pequeño accent. What are they called? Niños. Inyes. What do they call it? Where they put it? The, they put it over. There's um, N, which is yeah. N, and then they have Enya, but they put that little symbol above it. It's it's not a cedilla. I forget what it's called. Is it a cedilla? I don't know. I don't it's, remember. But now he has. I'm looking a, up. He has one of those under. He has one over the A. I didn't ever remember he had one it's of those. It's not a cedilla. What is the the the? Oh, cedilla is the thing that's under the C. The N is the. I have to get. I have to figure this out. What is the Spanish symbol over N? Let's the N that. accent. And Enya or Enya is a letter of the modern Latin alphabet. It's formed by placing a tilde. Also tilde. Referred, that's of course referred How? to a virgilia. 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 Yike. How a could we? Virgilia. How could we? forget the one accent that's named after a gay icon tilde <laughs> <laughs> it's like having an accent called the meryl and being like what's the name of that thing that goes on this on the x <laughs> meryl. meryl's like oh, i will pronounce n in whatever accent i would like <laughs> um so by the uh, way can i say something and this is a minor spoiler to people who play the game worldle so you have about 10 seconds to, to fast forward, okay? There's a game called Wordle, which is like Wordle, except it's for geography. Is that and every, then? You have to guess the country. That it oh. shows a, silu- a country silhouetted. And out of context, you have to say, based on the silhouette, what country is it? Today's country? Zimbabwe. Zim, wow, really? Big Zim energy That's today. crazy. Well, thank yeah. you for joining us here on the news. <laughs> I have just stuck a thumb <laughs> Up my vagina. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, they're talking about, like, what if this guy's a dick? And then we find out it is a dick. And his name is Juayao. And he uh, comes on, and he's doing... Oh, I forgot he did this. Where he comes on, and he's like, oh, Hello, men. I feel like I'm already wearing a uniform. What's your name? Cuva, Hoover, Louver. Ha, 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 ha. Oh God! And he does have like crazy calls. glimmer in his eyes, where he just like cackles too loudly and intensely, and then just looks at you with like <sighs> exactly. And then uh, he walks in, and Asia sees him and goes, "Oh boy!" She goes, "Oh God, wow!" And we um, see and we- why he hates her, why she hates him, and it's clips from four years ago. And that guy, talk, like the animaniac, is like, you look Jack. lovely tonight, Aisha. Are you doing a sexy Asian, uh, a sexy Russian tonight? A sexy Asian? I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Are you being a sexy Russian tonight? And she goes, <laughs> and Joao goes, yeah, when you pay for. So I was rude. He is the worst. So, um... So Aisha brings Joao to Jason, and Joao tells us, I'm really looking forward to working with Captain Jason. He has a lot of experience, and it's very intimidating. And it's so far, I've been a captain for three and a half years on 30-meter boats. <laughs> and, but I'm looking forward to getting more experience from a bigger captain on a bigger boat, because I have this ambition to get to the top. Now, hold on one second, Joao. I'm going to interrupt your monologue right there, because I want you to know that you've just stepped onto 
a 1977 <laughs> fishing boat that's been revamped and remade into a beautiful adventure yacht with one prop. Single prop. Single prop. Uh, so then Margo meets him and Serena hears his voice and she does not look happy and she sees him and she goes oh wow, you probably don't remember me do you and he goes I do I do let's just start slow and get into it okay ha 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 so Serena tells Margo yes he was with one of my, my one of my best mates and fucked her over and Margo's like, oh, my God, how was this a long time ago? And she's like, no, not too far. He's definitely a guy's guy and a womanizer. I always swore that if I saw him again, I'd punch him in the face for her. But instead, I'll just actually hug him and say, good to see you again. <laughs> I'll become his best friend within five minutes. So it's like, yeah, I know you are from mutual friends in Palma. And also, he dated one of my best friends. And, you know, I fucked his friend. He fucked my friend. You know, lying, deceitful Fuck. Fuck face. Can't wait to tell him off. Cuts to Do I love you? Can't wait to go out with you tonight, <laughs> Drow. Made you some kind of pays. <laughs> it's time for a commercial. It's time for a crappin's con. If you're hiring, you know it's incredibly hard to attract top talent. And with the current labor market conditions, it's even harder than ever. That's why you want a partner who gets it. Zip Recruiter. You know who knows how tough it is right now? Zip Recruiter does. Um, but guess what? They figured out solutions for the problems that you're facing. See for yourself. Right now, you can try them for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash crappens. ZipRecruiter is ready to tackle your recruiting challenges. Yeah, to reach more of the right people, ZipRecruiter posts your job to over 100 job sites. And listen, the pricing at ZipRecruiter is straightforward. There are no surprise costs. Yeah, want first dibs on talent? ZipRecruiter lets you invite the most qualified people to apply for your job. Team up with a hiring partner who understands what you need. ZipRecruiter. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Just go to this exclusive web address to try ZipRecruiter for free. ZipRecruiter.com slash crappens. Again, that's ZipRecruiter.com slash C-R-A-P-P-E-N-S. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Since his death in 2009, the world has struggled with how Michael Jackson should be remembered. As the king of pop or as a monster. I'm Leon Nafok, the host of Fiasco and the co-creator of Slow Burn. And I'm Jay Smooth, a hip-hop journalist and cultural commentator. Michael Jackson was accused of child molestation for the first time in 1993. Our new podcast, Think Twice, Michael Jackson, is the story of what came before and what came after. Throughout the podcast, we explore what makes Michael Jackson seemingly uncancelable. And we dig into the complicated feelings so many of us have when we hear Billie Jean at the grocery store. Through dozens of original interviews with people who watched the story unfold firsthand, Think Twice is an attempt to reconcile our conflicted emotions about Michael Jackson, the man, with our deep-seated love of his art. Listen to Think Twice, Michael Jackson, wherever you get your podcasts. Or you can binge the entire series ad-free on Audible or the Amazon Music app. Commercial. <laughs> so it's just like... Well, just want to quickly say, I, I know we didn't both end on great terms last time we were together. And he goes, no, we didn't. And it's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> I'm joking. She's like, <laughs> die, motherfucker. <laughs> but let's just leave that in the past because we're both heads of department now. And he goes, well done, by the way. Well done on that. And he tells us, Aisha and I have exchanged words, to say the least. Take me back to five years ago, and you'd hate me then. <laughs> and we see five years earlier him just being horrible. Him being just Awful. fucking terrible. And when he told Hannah on the bus or the sprinter van, he's like, oh, that's awesome. 30-year-old with nothing going on in your life. Nothing at all going on in your life. And she's like, honey eyes. <laughs> honey, <laughs> honey, like honey eyes. Yeah, second, a decky doesn't tell that to the head stew, honey eyes, and he calls her the C word. So he goes, Jezebub is my alter ego, and it's a godforsaken dude that just kept on fucking up my relationships with everyone, but Jezebub's not around anymore, and with Aisha, I think we both deserve each other's second chance. I'm like, 
Mm -hmm. uh no like she like but she doesn't need a second chance with you yeah you need a second chance you don't yeah you don't get to play that like both sides thing oh but we were both wrong no sir you don't get to play that also let me just tell you guys i know that everybody's not a christian out here and i'm not here to proselyte proselyze to you i just want to let everybody know beelzebub doesn't leave okay that's the whole point he's always there okay Mm -hmm. so That goes the same for you, Drowsabub, whatever your fucking name is. So, um, Zarina is texting her friend B, who I wonder who B is. Do we know B? Has B been on this show? Um, B, because at first I thought, in my little fantasy world, that Zarina's friend was the girl that Joao was. What was her name again? She was like, Joao, I love you, Joao. Um, The British, Brooke. Wait, wait, B, Brooke. Was it Brooke? <laughs> I just got so excited. <laughs> you got it. You guessed it. Let's look it up. Let's Brooke. Look. The little she was like Joao. the Jane Austen. She's like Joao and I are in love. Thank you so much. I'm glad I asked you because oh my god, was she the one who was always doing the romance stories? Yes, she was. She's like Joao and I took a walk hand in hand through the garden and we looked at the paddocks and we expressed our love for each other. Uh, the way he looked at me was like the way that the sun looks at the earth coming up in the morning, seeing it for the first time fresh every day. The sun never sees the same thing twice. And that's how Joa looked at planet me. The first time I saw Joa was from across the room at the ball at the at Miss Avery's parlor. I thought for sure he was going to choose Lizzie Bennett's hand to dance, but he chose mine instead, <laughs> and I fell in love right then and that moment. Welcome to the U.S. Sun, Joao Franco, which he also had the tilde above his A then. By the way, there's some added news for those of you who are wondering. Joao recently opened up about his relationship with Brooke. Uh, the 29-year-old explained that he ended the relationship after discovering that Brooke had cheated on him during the below-deck Mediterranean season four after show. I've also just sat on ten fists. <laughs> Thank you. For- <laughs> so, um, Matt, so wow. That was, she cheated that many years ago, and he's still talking about it like she's some lying, deceitful piece of shit. Come on now. Wait, was this a new article, a recent article? No, it was no, it was during his last season, which was five years ago, right? Oh, I, I think I misunderstood the context of what you were saying. But you anyway, were still the on point fisting. Is, I keep getting I was you like, that one. Let's talk about the the fisting news newscaster. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I love this this theory that we have that Zarina's friend is Brooke because that would be amazing. So yeah. um, Zarina uh, texts, and then Harry meets Joao, and then Harry's like, his name is. Joao, Joao, jo- Joao, Joanne. What's his, what's his name? I can't quite figure it out. Oh, wow. Wow. Jo- wow. get a hairy hug, though. <laughs> so the guests come, just as you'd think a bunch of porn stars would would arrive. They're like, yes, hey, we're here. Can't <laughs> wait to fuck you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like they're, they are. they're living the dream, man. But they're kind of like wonderfully porn starry. They like are. they're like delightful, like delightful porn stars. They are. So actually, they just are, yeah. You know what it is? Because it's almost like they, like I feel like they earned their right to be like that, right? They are full on porn stars. Because there's some people who are like they've just put down their club at Top Golf and they've come onto the yacht and they're like, "Look at me, I'm crazy now." And they try to act like the porn stars, but it's not authentic. But the porn stars, I'm like, I the buy porn it. Stars I buy are that like this legit. Is, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna normally I would roll my eyes, but I'm my eyes are actually not rolling. Uh, my so, eyes rolled, but mostly just because they lean into it so much. It's like, okay, <laughs> guys, are you overcompensating I mean, yeah. for the fact that you're a porn star? Like, we get it, you're porn star. It's like I'm gonna go fuck something right now. Oh my god, <laughs> they are pretty. <laughs> they're like, is that a hot tub? Can I fuck the hot tub? I'm gonna fuck that hot tub later. You know, like they're really leaning into it. But I loved it. You know, I love. I'm a sex positive person, and I love that we live in a world now where it's like porn stars are the guests. You know, and they they actually show clips of all the porn stars going to like do their 
fucking OnlyFans for the night. And we hear exactly. them all separately. Their their trademark moans and everything. I liked it. It was fun. And it, and it also showed that, like, for as much shit as porn stars get in our society, they were definitely classier than many other guests we've seen this season or on other seasons. Yeah. So, um, and they also being, weren't pretending that they're really rich because a lot of the guests pretend like, oh, we go on these cruises all the time. So we're just rich people as real estate agents. And you're like, mm, I don't believe you. Uh, but this, these people didn't even try it. At one point, Desiree, Laura Desiree, is like, oh, God, tomorrow i got to go back to Kraft Mac and Cheese. And you're like, yes. <laughs> Thank or you just for the, the way honesty. Or honestly, just the way they're excited about that shitty-ass tablescape. I mean, they're like, honestly, yeah. we're just so happy we're not the Golden Corral of Chatsworth anymore. <laughs> so... <laughs> Laura, Laura gets on. So Jason holds out, extends his hand to help her onto the boat. And she goes, Ooh, I get so giddy when you touch me like that. Good to meet you. I'm a porn star in case you couldn't tell. Also telling the news, you may not know this, but, um, a, a boat exploded on the other end of the Marina. If you're <laughs> wondering, and I'm, I'm sticking your fingers in my vagina as I get on the boat. <laughs> Sort of impromptu news. <laughs> so then Sky with the double Y comes on wearing his resume, a pearl necklace, uh, and gives, you know, the double kiss to uh, Culver. And he's like, ooh, smell fresh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've had a lot of skies this season. Uh, and on below deck sailing, it's been a lot of sky. So um, then Laura meets uh, Harry and she's like, I'm Laura. Nice to meet you. Fully shaved. <laughs> He's like, oh, hello there. Oh, I don't know what to do right now. I feel like I should call my mom and tell her to come save me. <laughs> and Misha goes, I've never met porn stars before and it does worry me a bit. I'm just fired one sexually charged Laura. And now I've got another sexually charged Laura. And she brought friends. <laughs> on. Laura's like, I'm itching to take off all my clothes right now, mainly because there's a cold front coming through. Weather at five, <sighs> coming down my leg right now. <laughs> yeah, by the way, <laughs> weather at five, orgasm at five oh five. <laughs> So Jason welcomes them, and it's time for their tour. So he goes up to chat with Joao, and he's like, all right, all I need you to know, it's an older boat. No worries, mate. You're a bit older. It doesn't mean you don't know what you're doing. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Not me. The boat. The literal boat is a bit older. It's a single prop. You fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> it always wants to go p starboard. You mean porn starboard? <laughs> so Margo is like, uh, Margo is just like at a window in one of the rooms, just staring and watching them out on the deck. And she's like, please, nobody asks me to unpack for them. Please, please, please. please Margo please, please, at this please. point is just like the little kid in room. She's just, it's like she's left on her own. She's in reverse room. Completely, yeah. She's, she has she nobody to, to talk to. She's literally just walking around making up worlds, entire worlds for herself, you know? <laughs> um, so she's like, yeah, well, you know, I'm real glad Laura's fired, but that puts pressure on me, you know? So Laura then says to Aisha, um, it's really hard to say Laura goes Aisha and not do the Latvian Laura accent, but uh, new Laura no. is like, she's like, so how do you feel about all night orgies? Is it just us? Is that okay? And Aisha's like, well, if I can witness some of it, that would be really nice. <laughs> oh, we love lawyers. <laughs> And she's asking them where they're from. They're all over. Some are from LA. Some are from Portugal. And the Portu the uh, Portuguese guy, they're like, oh, his name is Daddy. And she goes, can I call you your daddy? <laughs> Laura's like, absolutely not. I'm <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> I would just love it if they have like a, a random boundary. No. Right. I'm sorry. That's that's, that's where not, we draw the line. Cannot do that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Sky Yaya is like, "Where's the captain's room?" And Laura's like, "Um, I don't think you should be privy to that information." <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now it's time to leave the dock, and and Joao, before he fully becomes a monster, is going to pretend like he's open to hearing input. So he's like, "So, uh, do you mind showing me how you normally get off the dock?" So Culver's like. Yeah, uh, so there's like a net. You can take the net off if you want, but you can also you can move a line if you want. Or sometimes I call up Chef Kim and I'll be like, "You making Dutch babies tonight, Mom?" And she'd be like, "Yeah." And then she sends me the photo. And sorry, something about these porn stars got my real horny for some Dutch babies. 
And Charles like, do you do the spring bind first then? Is that what we're doing here? Zim. And uh, Charles like, so it's... <laughs> Zim. <laughs> He's like, so it's halfway through the season and they still don't know how to uncork the boat. Uh, undock the boat, so I don't know why I wrote uncork, <laughs> but undock the boat. Seriously, seriously, this is not even funny. <laughs> well, I, 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 I'm not surprised he wrote uncorked because there probably was footage, if you go back, of like one of those deckhands trying to like pop a cork off of the deck or something <laughs> like like it's, it's not a bottle that's a rock i don't know what you guys are up to oh, so yeah. um then laura's putting strawberries on her nips and asia is asking zarina how she knows joao and zarina's like oh well she's like i used to fuck one of his best mates and you know he was one of the best mates i'm sorry he he was one of the best mates and fucked her he was sleeping with one of my best mates and fucked her. We f we slept with each other's best mates and he fucked over my best mate. Are you following this along? Because I don't know if I can even understand the words that are coming out of my mouth right now. <laughs> so basically, she's like, he's an asshole. And then she's like, big shocker there. And she's like, yeah, shocker, right. So um, then Jesse, uh, she's like the tatted up uh, porn star, comes up and she's like, so would you guys wash my sneakers? And I was like, Okay, you're poor. <laughs> so, do you, I think you're behind on the OnlyFans because I feel like only poor people ask to get their sneakers washed, right? <laughs> Don't you? Like, who does that? Who I, does that? Like, I'm on a boat. You know what I want on this boat? Getting my Reeboks cleaned. <laughs> That's <what I'm> <laughs> <laughs> maybe she stepped in something. She's like, there was an issue with the kangaroo on the dock. <laughs> Just needed a diaper. I don't know why that struck me as so weird. It is but. kind of funny because it's also just like little black sneakers. So, um, so Marco's like, "Yeah, sure, no problem." So, um, and then so there's just like administrative stuff happening, and Marco loves this, loves Jesse's shoes because they're small. She's like, "These are so small. These are so cute. I love these shoes." And, and while I was walking around finding problems with things, he's like, "Wait a minute, these shouldn't be tied up like this. Why are these fenders tied like this? This is completely wrong. All of this is wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Well, I'm gonna, someone is going to pay for this." When I was in Zim, they put fenders in a different orientation. This is absolutely incorrect. <laughs> so, um, so now there's like a deck meeting, and because Margot, by the way, Margot doesn't really know how to wash shoes, and it feels like it's going to be a thing, but it's it's not a thing. She just washes them it's just so, another margo theater hour she's like oh my god she has the tiniest feet how cute what size are these seven they're probably like a three i wonder how i wash these i should put them on a six no maybe a seven should i use soap <laughs> oh gosh i'm gonna use i'm losing then she goes i'm losing steam <laughs> <laughs> This is also after she was pouring like a drink and she's like, slow march, slow. And then, <laughs> <Yeah. March. laughs> and then slow. And then it cuts to Laura and she's like, my vibrator didn't plug in at the hotel. That's been a real problem. I was like, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> we get it. And what are you blame what are you putting all this on the vibrator for? Like get your vibrator doesn't plug itself in. Take some personal <laughs> responsibility for your fucking fake dick not being charged up. Lady. She's like sticking it into the potted plant. Why won't this get a charge? <laughs> so, <laughs> don't fucking this just don't in: Australia things. ran out of electricity, <laughs> and uh, someone's sticking a finger in my pussy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm like running out of things to do. I'm like, I, and I just did the reverse cowgirl. I think we're oh. showing how vanilla we are. We're like, <laughs> <laughs> how many times can a finger be put in my pussy, and can I announce it on this newscast? <laughs> So we're having a decky meeting now, and I was like, okay, so what I gather is that we need to work more together as a team, just on the dock. We need to know positioning, where we are, where we start. I need to know your watch schedule. Do you have a watch schedule? And uh, Culver's just like, well, we start with some outer banks until the guys fall asleep, and then I turn it on to Breaking Bad. It's just more <laughs> my style. No, no, I'm not talking about what you watch. I'm talking about a watch schedule. Oh, yeah, well, my swatch has been in the shop for about two weeks, and I told them I'd get it when I'm done with the season. No, I'm not asking about your watch that you wear on your wrist schedule. No. Oh. So he's like, do you have anything written down? And he's like, yeah, I just wrote Breaking Bad down a lot because 
It's kind of my vibe. I'm really into it right now. No, it's uh, written down. What about that? What about that piece of paper you have in your hand? Cover it. Oh, this? Okay, you can look at that. Okay. Dear Chef Kim, <laughs> your Dutch babies are delicious. I can't stop thinking about them. Please send me more photos. What the fuck is this? What is the symbol DB squared? That's the chemical makeup of <laughs> Dutch babies. I watch Breaking Bad with <laughs> Dutch my mom babies. a lot. <laughs> It's one part Dutch and square. You square the baby part. <laughs> you be squared. So uh, Culver, so Joao's like, okay, it's your basically idiot said. And Culver's like, wow, Joao sure is coming in hot. He's not really asking many questions like, how you been doing? What's been working? What doesn't work? Hey, how you doing? Hey, anybody here obsessed with their mom's cooking? It's just, <laughs> fuck you, you suck, and I'm in charge. Great. I'm like, these guys are going to make me take you outside. I'm so upset. This is so. the most upsetting thing. Yeah, spoiler alert, because Joao's actually correct the entire two episodes. <laughs> I'm like, these guys are such idiots that I'm on Joao's side for the first time ever. Ever. I know. They're so inept. So uh, now it's time to anchor, and Marco and Harry have another Harry hug. And uh, Skya is like, I'm going to put my thong on. And then, uh, then a porn star, I said, oh, there's a porn star with no voice. So we find out this is Vanna, Vanna Faye. She's like, can I just have a hot tea? I can't talk. And he's just like, oh, were you sick? She's like, no, it was the flight. I tried to give a blowjob to propel her. It didn't work out so well. <laughs> I tried to turn on the air by deep throating it. Well, the masks came down and I just, out of instinct, I just tried to swallow it. <laughs> it was already up above my head. <laughs> it's still stuck in there, to be honest. Uh, so, um, Laura, <laughs> now they're like posing and taking like sexy selfies everywhere. And Destiny's like taking, uh, not Destiny, whatever her name is. I kept writing down Laura Destiny. Destiny. Laura Desiree, Desiree, but then the girl who's got a lot of tattoos, I keep calling her Destiny Jesse. for some reason. Jesse. It's such an easy name, and I keep calling her Desiree. Destiny. So Destiny's like taking boob selfies. And then... <laughs> he just, he just <laughs> said it again. <laughs> okay, it's, it's not going to change. So then Aisha goes, oh, fan art. It's going to be amazing when you speak again. Yeah, I can finally help the child next to me once I get this thing <laughs> <laughs> God, this mask really fucked so much up. I tried to eat a biscoff, wouldn't go down. So, so it's just like, she's like, it's a bit shocking when you start speaking again. And then what, there's like, because there's like several gays actually. It's not just Sky. There's like, because there's a bunch of like normal gays that are just there. They're like the cameramen. And they're like, yeah, wait to hear her filthy mouth, Vanna Faye. <laughs> God, enjoy yeah, the silence. That one guy, the normal guy, I wrote, he must be the photographer too, because he's like obviously the one not in porn, no offense. Um, but he's he's the one, he keeps making little comments that are really funny. He's like, oh my God, I love a man in a pearl necklace. Like, yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> he's the guy so, you always hear off camera who's like, hey, hey, remember when we met at the bowling alley? <laughs> I know. Like, That's the thing. I dollars to blow that guy. <laughs> Just and I just imagine your favorite porn and just know there's like a million of those guys standing around just watching with a camera, <laughs> a bunch of little baby Harvey fire scenes. So love for sale. <laughs> so then, uh, could you cheat your testicles a little bit to the right? Thank you. <laughs> it's time for a commercial. It's time for a crappens commercial. Sky comes out in like a ladies thong bathing suit, um, which is bold. I mean, Jesus Christ, this guy has an amazing body. His he body can is really insane. Pull off, he, he can really pull off pull, anything like, and does. He probably would. He pull literally off pulls it. it all off. He literally pulls it all off. Uh, he pulls a lot literally of things professionally. And I'm so jealous of his body. Me so, too. I was, I was jealous like, of the swimsuit. I was like, what a ridiculous. Actually, that looks really cute. I looked really good on him. I was like, why? Actually, why is that not a more common look on men? I know. You know what? I, especially just like in the world, like in the modern age, you know, everyone's like, I identify as whatever. I'm going to wear a one piece. I'm going to go fucking get a one. You know what I want? A ladies' one piece from the 20s. I always loved that uh, style. It's like shorts, but also a one piece, maybe with sleeves. You know what I'm going to, you know what I would love? 
I would love a giant trench coat that was waterproof. I could just wrap it all up over my body and then go swimming in that. That would be my that that's my dream bathing suit. <laughs> you might look a little creepy in that one. <laughs> it's like, mommy, who's who's that guy coming to the pool in a trench coat? Fine. How about a hoop hoop dress? I'll do that. <laughs> so hoop dress, yeah, let's do hoop dresses. <laughs> um. So, uh, so Culver is like they're doing they're moving things into the tender, and so Scott's like, oh, I love a man lifting. And then um, now the deckies are setting up a picnic on the beach, and the guests are going to the beach, and the guests are just like loving it. Scott's like, incredible. Where are we? And um, there's just like. A lot of joy happening. There's a lot of posing and like, you know, getting content made, you know. And then Laura finds a little shell and she goes, oh, my God, it's a little ocean clitoris. I love that. <laughs> yeah, just a floating, a disembodied clitoris. <laughs> so Harry There's some and very insecure male shellfish in there being like, fuck this bitch, men's rights. They're like literally everything that happens. I make into sex, and it's cracking. Me. They're really good at it, you know. <laughs> they are. They are. So really, really Harry good. and Adam are there on the beach with them at the private beach, and they're just like unbelievably lucky. You know, it's like boobs yeah. everywhere. They are loving it. Wow. They can't stop staring at being goofy, and so. Um, then they ask Culver to come in because, of course, Culver is like fucking body. Culver's like, know? wow. He's just seeing, in his mind, like he's just seeing two hot Dutch babies in the ocean. Like that's what they look like to him. Like he's just like, wow, I want to be with them. He's like, from far away, that looks like mom and mom. <laughs> Am I seeing double? So he swims out there and then. Um, uh, I can't believe he goes out there. First of all, well, what the fuck? You can't go. Well, you can't do that. How did he not but, get yelled at? Because didn't Culver get into the hot tub last season on Down Under, and like as part of the um, CEO of Fun or whatever, he a chairman of Fun. At one point, there were some like rockers last season, and I think they they said get in the hot tub, and he got in the hot tub. I believe because Bertini got yelled at by the awful bosun last season, but then Culver was able to get away with this, and it was like not fair. I, yes, I that's what that's, it was. Yes. Some, something like that happened. So Culver is like this. And so they are they want Culver to come in. They want Culver and Harry to come in. And they're like, come in, we need saving. So, of course, they take off their shirts, which they're not even supposed to do that because they have shirts that are designed to get wet. But they take off their shirts and they start they start swimming out to them and goofing off with the porn stars. Right. And um, the uh, Sky's like, I'm still waiting to see if Harry's really Harry. And then at, we cut to Adam and Joao. And uh, Adam's like, hey, hey, yo, yo, yo. Who's that out there? Who's that dumb dumb? I can hear him talking. <laughs> he talks funny, whoever it is. I think he's got his shirt off. And Joao's like, no, no, let's get, let us get the binoculars. We will see about this. And so they get binoculars, and they're looking out there. And Adam's like, oh, my God, someone's walking into the water. Oh, shit. It's Culver and stupid voice. Harry. The fuck, Adam, yo? <laughs> Adam is such a snitch. I mean, Culver and Harry were completely being unprofessional. But Adam was him being like, oh, there's someone with their shirt off. Well, who else? I mean, like, you are snitching. And, and I feel like Adam is the type of person who really responds well to an asshole boss. I feel like he's the type that, like, kisses ass to someone like Joao. I, I mean, you've seen oh, I haven't watched will. the second I haven't watched the second episode yet, uh, so you may already know some of this already, but that's the vibe I'm immediately getting, because it's going to then put him up above the other two. Well, it's not so far, but Joao hasn't really gone Joao on anybody yet. But the second he, because Adam is just like a bad little boy who needs to be spanked. <laughs> like, he is like begging for discipline. I mean, if this were like, uh, what are they called? Child psychiatry? It's like, you're you're a psychiatrist, but for kids, whatever. If it was yeah. that kind of psychiatry, child psychologist. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you're a child. If you're a child psychologist, thank you. Wow, so much simpler than it seemed like it would be. Um, they would probably say this kid is begging for discipline because he spends the rest of this two hours walking around going, "That guy sucks. He don't do nothing. That guy ain't my dad. You ain't my dad." I'll tell you that right now. I ain't listening to you. You ain't my daddy. You know, it's like he's just <laughs> begging to get, you know, spanked. Yeah. Well, you know, it's hard not to when the news is so sexy all around you. <laughs> <laughs> this just in. There's been a 
government coup in Myanmar, and also Adam the Deckhand is getting pegged by me. <laughs> uh, so uh, they're playing, they're playing chicken, and Joao's watching, and uh, Adam's like, "Oh my God, yo, Harry got titty in his face." <laughs> <laughs> um, also, Adam's very toxic, which I have to point out too, because he's he just always trying to ruin somebody. You know, he's always like trying to undermine somebody and ruin them. Now, fortunately like for pet. us, it becomes Joao. <laughs> so I'm like team him for a second, but he's just in general like a toxic little snitch. I agree with he you. He is. He is. So Joao's like, this is not right. This is crazy. In super yachting, it's a guest experience. It's not a guest and crew experience unless you're in Zim. And there's a difference between professionalism and acting and tra actually trying to be a guest on board. It's obviously the precedent that the previous person has set, has set is terrible. And I am here to change that. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Watching Harry flail around playing chicken. I didn't know I needed it so much, but I think I rewound it and watched it about 40 times. I mean, have you ever thrown a ball at me or to me? Have you ever no. seen me try to catch a ball? Okay. No, That's probably the same as me. Sorry, but this is anybody on video. This is what I do. I go, <laughs> I just start. I go like this. I put my hands, <laughs> I put my hands forward like a heart, heart shaped with both my palms touching like a heart. And I sort of like bat at it. And I'm like, wow, I can't believe I didn't catch the ball. He looks like he's on a train. The derailing while he's trying to do the monkey. You know that old dance, the monkey from like the fifties in speed. In, he's like, <laughs> he, just, he looks crazy, and it's the funniest shit I ever saw. I rewound that like five times. I'm and they do this amazing shot where they split the screen. On the top half of the screen are like the porn stars riding the deckhands on their shoulders. And the bottom half is a shot of like a little turtle on top of a big turtle. Did you see that? <laughs> yes, of It was course. my favorite thing. Of course I saw it. You know I love that shit. A turtle piggybacking on another turtle. <laughs> I've never... <laughs> It was like the sky knocks of turtles. It was like, <laughs> yes, queen. <laughs> Chicken fight. <sighs> and love, then love. the turtle rode another turtle until they went extinct because of humans. <sighs> yeah, I just I'm... came on the front of my pants. <laughs> it's like, oh no, that lady is now reading the Our Planet. <laughs> yes, yes. She's like, this is Laura Desiree for Our Planet. <laughs> the sea turtles of Australia are an endangered species, and their migration is a fraught migration. Uh, also, I just took I loads just from the entire football team. <laughs> 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 Which is about as many loads as the turtle needs to release in order to ensure that its next generation will survive. <sighs> Have you ever blown a turtle? Because I just did. <laughs> This has been Laura Desiree for Skank Planet. <laughs> so Harry's like, I've got this guy's penis in the back of my neck, but I've got the best view in the house. Boobies. <laughs> so funny. So then I'm really, Margo, by the way, I'm, I'm already mad. I know I'm already getting comments. I should not have called it Skank Planet. I should have called it the Poor Planet. Because that's the you play on words. You should have called it what planet? Poor Planet. That's the play on words. <laughs> Not calling Laura a whore. I'm just saying it's a really good pun. <laughs> so that's the title of this episode. So, um, no, it's not. <laughs> no. We we're going to get us get No slut shaming. We love it. <laughs> oh, I was just going to, I was going to wait for you to, to apologize. Anyway, I was going to wait for an apology speech. I was like, you guys, um, let's have a think piece. <laughs> so uh, then we get to Margo Theater. And Margo, there's a bottle of wine that's about to fall down from a shelf oh, inside yeah. the fridge, from the wide fridge. And she's like, oh, no, don't fall. Oh, God. Jeez, glass door. I just wish I could reach my hand through you. But I can't because <laughs> I'm human. And humans are solid. And so is glass. What should I do? I'm going to get some padding. I'm going to get some padding. Maybe that'll help. She puts down a, a towel and says, like, Okay, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to open you, door. Wine, I'm coming for you, wine. Be careful, wine. She's like, falls down and she catches it. She's like, oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> it was exciting, actually. I was I was very invested in that. I was like, what would I do? And then she had cat-like reflexes. She was like a little ninja. She, just, she like caught it very quickly. And uh, disaster was averted. And, um, you know, no broken glass. 
No so then over moments. on the beach, Jesse's like, I'm going to make a video. It's called Sex on the Beach. Okay, Jesse, you know what? Can we like try <laughs> a little creative. more creativity here? It's like, yeah. have you not used that yet? By the way, have you not used that? Yeah, I feel like there's got to be something better for your beach smut. I think it has to be like, I don't know, like shell... She sells, she, she, she sells seashells in her she vagina. Shells, <laughs> she sells seashells. She sells her, seashells. She sells, yeah, I don't know that whole thing. So, um, <laughs> okay, maybe Sex on the Beach is the best option. <laughs> sex on the Beach. Great video. She, I'm she, looking she at you know what, She's the professional here, not us. By the way, can I just complain about my dog for a second? I know we haven't made this recap long enough for no reason. My dog does this thing when he wants to eat. It's around this time when we finish recording, but we're recording forever today. So he does this thing where he runs up the stairs and then he stares at me. And then when I don't pay attention to him, he runs back down the stairs and then he waits at the bottom of the stairs and then he slowly comes back up the stairs and then he slowly goes back down the stairs <laughs> and then he runs back up the stairs and then he runs back down the stairs. And it's making me fucking crazy. I'm ready to kill this fucking dog now, okay? He sounds like the deckhands on Blue Deck. <laughs> Looking at yeah, it. What do we do next? What do we do I next? I get it. I'm ignoring you. Do you understand, darling? God, get some fucking opposable thumbs already so I don't have to deal with this. So Aisha sends Margot to the beach. Uh, and she's like, Usually I wouldn't send a third student to the beach by herself to do service, but there's only two of us. And so far, these guests have just been so lovely. I think it's just because the pool industry is like the yachting industry. We're both here to serve and to please. So Joao is taking Margo and Adam now over, and he's going to leave them, and he's going to make Culver and Harry come back, but he's not telling them why. I mean, he's doing it because he doesn't want them fucking naked with the porn people, or, you know, like being all shirtless with the porn people. Being unprofessional. Yeah. Having fun, you know. And But he doesn't tell them, which I thought was weird. Why don't you tell them you shouldn't be out there swimming with the fucking guests? You yeah. dopes. I think he's still trying to be, like, friendly. He's still, he's like, because he's been there for about 90 minutes. So I think he's trying to still seem cool. He's doing so, that whole, I've changed. I'm the new Joao, you know? Was, yeah. yeah. So then Norma texts Jason. He's like, hey, Jason, guess what? I got a new stew for you. Yeah. Um, she, uh, she runs a, she used to run a restaurant in Portugal and, uh, she's takes a lot of dance. She loves the, she, her favorite dance is the will, will. And, um, uh, she, uh, she loves table decor. So her name is Flora. You excited for her? It's definitely not someone <laughs> I was wondering who, where that was going. <laughs> I don't know why I even decided to go in that direction, but I had to commit to it. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh... Her name's not Flora, but she's coming to you. Yeah, she's coming. So um, Serena and Ace are talking, and Serena has to cook some vegan food. And she's like, oh, I love vegan food. You should have to think outside the box. You know, I just love these guests because they want to be healthy. They're vegans. I was raised vegetarian. It's just something I was raised to do. So I'm feeling very confident in it right now. God, I want to fuck Captain Jason. It's really what I'm <laughs> thinking about. I'm just so excited to be able to make a bowl of brown plant-based shit rather than meat shit. You know? <laughs> you should see a, the soup bowl I can make with brown rice and brown water. It really is quite amazing. I just absolutely am thrilled that I can make something vegetable-based and vegan and healthy. So for tonight, I will be serving them all tomahawks. <laughs> The best vegan dish I've ever come up with, tomahawk steaks. So, um, <laughs> oh no, I messed up again. The guests are eating fruit on the beach. I mean, these are very healthy guests. Like they eat every time they, they cut be. to them, they're like eating fruit. You know what I mean? Uh, which is nice to see because I don't like when people fake it. They're like, oh my god, look at me eating cake on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and then she takes like one tiny little crumb of a cake. It's like, oh my god, Erica Jane, she's one of us. Yeah. I like when people are like, I'm not one of you, okay? I am better than you, and I only eat fruit. So. Yeah, like we have self-discipline. Actually, it's not easy being a porn star to keep this body. So uh, Culver, meanwhile, is back on the boat, and he is all grumpy, and he's moping. 
And he's basically doing a Tony from Below Deck this past season. He's like, well, I don't know why I had to come back here. And Joelle's like, well, they want to do something. And if they need us, they can call us straight away. But there's no point in us all standing around. He goes, but back there, you're not even standing around. You're like interacting the whole time, telling stories about Chef Keem's Dutch babies, you know, fun stuff. But here, I'm not doing nothing. Sometimes the guests want their own space, too, though, so you have to give them that space. And he's like, well, they're not the type of guests that want to be separated from the crew. If they want to self call us. And Culver's <laughs> like, but that's just the opposite of what they told us to do. Culver, shut the fuck up. If these were If these were older, like, fatter, homelier people, you would not give a crap. You would be not wanting to go out there all shirtless being passed around like a little hors d'oeuvre tray. But because there's nice big high boobies, you're totally fine with it. So let's just stop pretending you're like Disneyland for the people. Okay? Get to yeah. work. Squeeze. Get, get to work. I'm just backing you up. I'm just having your back on this one, Ronnie. <laughs> so so I was like... Um, oh, I was done. My period was squeege. No, I was trying to, when you're like, if, if they need us, then we'll look. I was trying, I was, I was just thinking about what was so funny to me was Joao's was like, they just, you know, some guests just don't want, don't want to deal with, with the crew and they, they want their own space. And they cut directly to one of them being like, Hey, Marco, can you put this lotion all over me? Can you just like slather me all up? Which is like a very, you know, intimate request. But, um, so now Joao is talking to Asia and he's like, excuse me, uh, Asia. I, okay. I have a question from bosun to Russian prostitute. So these guys, they have got quite a bond with each other. I've noticed. She's like, Oh yes. Well, when Luke was here, he set up the vibe that him and all the guys were just bros. And there were like no hours and no, no consent on things. And there's just like no breaks. And he just didn't like being Mr. Authority or anything like that. And I was like, well, that's fine, but I think they're going to start rebelling against me. Like in Zim. Just kidding. I don't know any Zim. I don't know if there's been a rebellion. Maybe I shouldn't make rebellion jokes. So um, Culver's <laughs> like... <laughs> well, that's it for the podcast. We had a great run. But taken down by Ronnie's casual casual mention of Zimbabwe. I, did, I said something one time about Ireland, and I didn't even know what I was saying. I was just like referencing a song or oh, something. Yeah. I got in so much trouble. I was like, you, you guys, <laughs> like, I'm not smart enough to even make that joke. So I'm that really was like, sorry. That was like a month ago, too. I'm literally an idiot. So maybe I should yeah. make Zim jokes until I learn a little history. How about that? <laughs> um, so then we cut back to Culver. Now, here's where he's right. They are going to start rebelling. And here's your big mistake, sir, is that you didn't tell them off for going and acting casual with the guests. You didn't tell them you brought them back because they're acting like a bunch of jackasses taking off their shirt. This is not their time to swim, et cetera, et cetera. Instead, you acted like it was some arbitrary reason they had to come back mm. just because you said so. And now they're not afraid afraid of you they just think you're an asshole and now they're going to start the undermining now just because Lori is laura is gone doesn't mean the latvian undermining is done because now it's cold it's harry uh not harry harry's bad the worst becomes adam but mm. for now, we've got Culver and Harry undermining. <laughs> Still working on a really good name for this segment, I would have to say. Culver and Harry undermining. Uh, I feel I think like the point uh, is it just doesn't ever get a good name. You know, it doesn't. It's it's undermined, undermined by itself. <laughs> it's literally self Dutch babies. So Culver's like. They at no point said they like some space from the crew. You don't get tips because they look at the windows. Read the itinerary. The entire time they want the crew involved with them. I'm like, okay, Culver, just relax. You were being unprofessional, whether you wanted or, whether you want to admit it or not. You were shirtless doing chicken chicken fighting with the porn stars, and now you're back. Go oh, wash the surface. Yeah. And he's like, it's shitty. And Harry's like, it is, it's silly. And he goes, It is, it is silly. So then um, Joao is asking, so is Culver the one who was running the show? Because he's acting all bossy. And then Culver's still going off about, like, read the gas, read the itinerary, blah, blah, blah. So Aisha's advice is like, listen, his thing is the entertainment. And sometimes, they, you know, he can focus on that. But they still need to respect you as the boss. And that's what you need to make sure they do, Joao. <laughs> And she's shocked because he's like, okay. And she's like, wow, he's actually treating me like a real head of department. So has he changed? Maybe. He's like, will I have your back? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then uh, the guests come, they're ready to come back to the boat. And um, so Joao and Culver take the tender to get them. And then the captain is texting the newbie, her flights, Flora the Red Menace, her flights. Because <laughs> you know it's Laura just like, Laura just put on a wig. And it's like, I am new, uh, still ready to be here. Yeah, I am. It's just me. <laughs> I don't care. You want me, me to decorate? I decorate. Mm-hmm. I bring bag of limes. But I am totally new to at this. <laughs> My name is Flora. I do the will will. <laughs> I do the possible possible. I have restaurant called <laughs> One Chair Restaurant. Bottle bottle. <laughs> dum, 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 bottle dum, bottle. Dum, dum. <laughs> cup cup. Uh, so the crew changes into their blacks and Serena's getting food and she's like, you know, normally when you think of glitz and glam, you don't think vegan and nutrition. Yes, you do. That's yeah. what I think of. Well, when I think of like glitz and glam celebrities, I don't like sit there and think of they're eating like a Domino's. You know well, I mean? Eleven Madison Park has like an, a famously turned into like an, an all vegan restaurant to some people's dismay and so that's like a major major restaurant whoa um yeah so yeah so everyone think about that for a moment i'm just we'll have like a moment of silence to think about that this just in 11 medicine park is now all vegan and on top of that i stuck a carrot up my hoochie <laughs> 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 vegan porn <laughs> Oh, so then why are got... all mine her just sticking stuff in her vagina <laughs> 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 the most innocent porn ever. <laughs> then I lay down in missionary style and let him, <laughs> let him ravage me. <laughs> so Aisha and Margot are setting the table. The guests get dressed, and um, Aisha's like, "Well, I'm I'm confused about what to do at this table. What would Laura do besides excuse non consent?" Anybody have any ideas? <laughs> and Marco's like, oh, she just put something up there on the side. She's like, thank you. <laughs> Maybe I'll just squeeze some limes on top of this table. That seemed to make her very happy. <laughs> so Asia is, the, the, I mean, it looks terrible. It looks terrible, terrible. And she's like, it looks like Bonnie ate a rainbow and vomited it out. And that's about as good as I can do. <laughs> and Marco's like, is there any way we could glam it up? Not your fault. You're great. But the streamers are a little bad. <laughs> the streamers are pretty bad. <laughs> so then we cut to the guests doing makeup for each other for their, like, wild party. They're doing, like, really fun clown kind of makeup. And <laughs> one of them is putting it on the cameraman gay. And he's like, hey, <laughs> why are you making me look so pathetic? <laughs> like, I look like a sad clown. And then they put up a side-by-side of a clownfish, like a Nemo fish next to him. <laughs> and he has just, like, random, like, gold things on, like, below his eyes. Like, sort of like a uh, football player. <laughs> yeah, and they're, like, and he in frowny on all face. Night. Yeah. yeah. He's like, well, why are you doing this to me? Why are you making me look so sad? So this very sad table, the the guests come up to it, and Laura's like, Oh my God, it is so good. Glittertown USA, I love it. Yeah, <laughs> they love just... the shitty decor. And um, so the first course is artichoke foam. That sounds fucking disgusting. Are you kidding oh me? I'm into artichoke it. Artichoke over... foam? I, I love an art. I, I, I would, I, artichoke foam over roasted celeriac or celery root, as we say in America. Uh, I'm into it. Yeah. I mean, I don't, no, I'm not into foam, but I'm into listen, the, I think I'm the celery root that's made. If you, if you roast the avocado and then you give it to me swimming in butter, okay. But you're not going to give me some just base tasting artichoke foam over roasted disease that makes me not able to eat gluten. Sorry. I, <laughs> I no. personally think this sounds like a delicious dish. Yeah. And um, you know what? I think it's going to be all the rage. All the rage. Um, at 11 in, Park Madison. <laughs> Le- yeah, Thomas Keller is going to be taking some tips here from this. Sit down! Now! Shut up! <laughs> be quiet and Thomas and Kramer. sit down! <laughs> sit down! Shut up! I need your food! <laughs> so, uh, uh, Atlanta, for anybody confused as hell, okay. And Miami. On. Dual. Yes. Dual role. So, uh, Sky uh, is like, I'm going to be shitting like a fairy later. Um, and they're like, probably not the first time. 
And Laura is, Laura's like, she's like, this tastes so good. Taste it. Let, let it rock your world. This is so, they're like so appreciative. They are loving this meal. They're very, very happy. And um, then there's a lemon chicken and cashew spread. And <laughs> Serena is just spray painting everything with edible spray paint that's gold. Uh, yes. and that's her trick. And they they love it. And so then we see Serena and Joao talking. So she's asking if he's doing leads. And he's like, well, I'm just trying to get people up to par over here. I'm just trying to get people up to Zim here. It's very <laughs> difficult. <laughs> And um, she's like, well, I bet the new the new stew is probably gonna be a leggy blonde model. And uh, and she's saying like, the last time I saw you, I think was probably in Palma. And I go and Clover's like, oh, it's like so you guys knew each other before this. That's like a Dutch baby meeting another Dutch baby in the plate, and they knew each other beforehand. That's crazy. And they're laughing. Serena and Joao are like laughing and like shouldering each other. They're like shoulder rubbing each other. And she's like kind of punching his shoulder. And there is definitely chemistry here. I'm not really sure yeah. what's going on, but there is definitely chemistry. And Culver sees it and doesn't really care, which I think is uh, not great uh, for the future of that relationship. Nope. And so he's kind of giving her a look and Joao leaves. And she's like, what, are you getting jealous of Joao or something? And he goes, yeah, a little bit. Actually, I'm just waiting here. For you to put something in my mouth, like say any kind of <laughs> bread, bread egg, pre pre preferably something like a Yorkshire pudding or a <laughs> popover, maybe just in a different form. What what about what about a pancake that's looking like it's doing yoga? You got something like that? So he's like, new guy, what are you doing? You see this galley? It's my territory. So I suggest you take a lap. All right, you got me. Ja wow 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 wow. <laughs> <sighs> so he's like, I'm gonna break his knees if I see him talking to the lady who makes me whatever I want to eat again. And she's like, that's the sexiest thing you've ever said to me. So then um, the uh, porn people are upstairs like, oh my God, I love boobs. Oh my God, how many boobs do you like? I want three boobs. Oh yes, triple tats. Triple tats. Love tats. I love triple tats. tats. Triple tats. And uh, they're eating dessert. They're loving it. And like, unsurprisingly, it's like an orgasm in my mouth. And then a girl goes, isn't that what they usually happen? <laughs> Shut up, Vanna. <laughs> Vanna Faye, you got your voice back, I see. Uh, so funny. <laughs> so then um, the camera gay is like, so, Claudio, are you doing your cam work? Are you doing like cam work? Your cam four show while you're at, at, what at is all? What is cam four? What is that? It's like a webcam site. Like you go and do oh. So, um, some oh, that's funny. That, so that's yeah. what it was. They were all going to do cams. Yeah. So then Jesse's oh, like, I have a dildo funny. for you to use if you want. And Laura's like, oh, good. Can I sneak by, by the way? Because some of us are performing right now. We got to go down to our uh, stages. She goes, I have a dildo you could borrow. And she goes, okay, can I deep throat that? And she goes, yeah. And she's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, this reminds me of when I... The AVN Awards, I don't know if they're still a broadcast or whatever, but there was a period of time when Showtime broadcast the AVN Awards. And I remember watching it, and it was like a professional award show. It had like an announcer and a stage and everything. And it was like, and now the nominees for Best Threesome are, and they go through like all these movies. And I just remember a woman won, and she goes up there and she goes, I want to thank. You know, I want to thank my partner, Rob, and I want to thank my parents. I want to thank God. I want to thank Susan. She, uh, she taught me how to deep throat. And uh, Lila and Becky, like, that was one of the best threesomes I've ever done. Like, love you guys. And I really wanted to thank all of you guys because this is not easy. But, like, it's a journey. And without you guys, I wouldn't be here. So thank you so much. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, sounds like a normal award show. Except in speech. But there's, like, talk goes of, like, off the rails threesomes and i love it deep throating it's amazing <laughs> that's funny um so let's see so aisha checks in on margo and margo's doing one last load for four bed please just let me do one last load i need to and Aisha's like you're crazy girl so she leaves and margo's like i almost hit from her so that she couldn't give me extra work but then i didn't but now i'm pretending to do more laundry i wonder what happened with that tennis shoe is it still in there might still be in the washing machine. I'm going to check on it. Hey, tennis shoe, everything going okay? What size are you? Tell me. Tennis shoes are so secretive. I'm losing steam. <laughs> Just passes out on the shoe. 
So then Asia goes up to Harry and is like, so what's going on? What's happening with you and Margo on drop off day? You should invite her on a date. And he's like, oh, yeah, I already said I wanted to do that. She's like, well, you should. I reckon you should do what you should do is take her up to the sun deck and then take that, take some cushions up there and a bottle of rosé. And he's like, yeah, but um, yeah, well, I think we're both into each other. But with everything that happened, remember 24 hours ago, uh, I decided to take maybe a step back because... You remember the last so two sweet. episodes? <laughs> yeah, he's so sweet. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I think after everything that happened, I should kind of go at her pace. Um, and then meanwhile, the guests all go downstairs to start doing their fucking camp shows. I was dying laughing. This is so funny how they shot it. So it says, guest Sky Eyes quarter. Oh, yes. Give me that deck. Yes. And then it cuts to Aisha doing whipped cream shots in her mouth. And then it cuts to guess Jesse's quarter. She's like, uh, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Choking on whatever dildo she was loaned. And then it cuts back to Jason doing whipped cream shots with Aisha. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was so fun. Funny. It was great. It was a great time. So then this is where we get the neon frog fish stuck to each other. It's like neon fish stuck to each other. I don't know if they're fucking or what, but then... They pop apart, and then snakes are intertwined, and we just hear the guests like fucking. Yeah, this is, I guess. This honestly, the, the those two fish, they were beautiful. They were like beautifully. Yeah. They were just like patterned and gorgeous. Yeah, all the fish. This the fish work this season is really really good, except for it's, that ugly five head fish. Oh, and that eel, that hideous eel, the fucking oh hull. The whole uh, the bathroom so key holding eel. Don't make from fun of HR. Olympia. That's not her fault. Okay, it is. She's like, listen, I was born this way. You know, it's not my fault. I'm here. I, I take care of my children. I do. I put in. I put in. I put in hours in my job. I come home. I feed my children. I take care of people. And you're gonna make fun of me? Yeah. Listen, it's like I always said. You were born with the look of your face, but you weren't born with that look on your face. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> She's definitely a math teacher in Ill World, right? I she's think she like has the bathroom key. Geometry. I think she's like an HR. Like you have to go ask for the <laughs> the bathroom key. She won't give it to you. I think no, Olympia. Who else had that? Who else? There was someone in charge of the bathroom key on these recaps recently. Is Dom there? What's he saying? Hi. Actually, Dom was just in here. Could you tell? He yeah, was looking you for listening. something. I was trying to, uh, he was looking for something and I was going to try to help him, but I thought it would be weird to interrupt uh, the, um, the, the reenactment of all the porn the stars slander. <laughs> <laughs> masturbating to be like, wait, hold on one second, Ronnie. Can I help you, Dom? And now he left and now I don't know what he was looking for. And I'm like, actually so intrigued. Yeah. I saw the hearts popping out of your eyes. Right? Aww. Aww. He was, okay, he, he was so... like slinking around trying to be quiet, you know? Mm. So Margo's like, now I can take the bottom bunk. <laughs> Just Margo in her own world, winning things that aren't even competition. She's like, finally, I won. Why don't you? The bottom bunk now. Yes. I'm impressed that it took her actually so long to claim that bottom bunk. She had like literally like, like two days. To 24 hours. <laughs> Did she just realize? I've you been so preoccupied. I won this because that, that wine bottle didn't break. I caught it. So I win. <laughs> I win the bottom bunk now. She spent a lot of time like, catching things falling off her but her top bunk she's like you just practice you never know what's gonna happen okay let's see marge see if you can catch okay i'm gonna put i'm gonna put a little can of tuna fish on there be ready to catch it oh got it <laughs> got it so brooke be possibly brooke but whoever b is text serena and it's like oh i got your message about jo joao that's crazy and then we go to joao talking to asia and he's like should we dress up for breakfast and she's like i was thinking you should one of you could do a ball gag in your mouth he's like my star sounds fun still a hole still a hole <laughs> And so they're setting the table, and Aisha's uh, shaping the – Aisha and Margo are shaping the uh, napkins to sort of look like vaginas. But they look – to me, they just look like normal – folded napkins. Folded napkins, right. you know? <laughs> I'm like, guys. <laughs> and, then, um, and then Adam is getting into shorts. Oh, so they're all going to get into, like, these Speedos for this, this brunchy, this gay brunchy moment. So Adam's getting into the shorts. He's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. My whole fucking sack's going to be out. What's the – and Harry's like – yeah, that's the point. He's like, yeah, but like, bro, I don't get paid enough for this shit. And Harry, bless his heart, goes, pretty sure we do. Pretty sure we get paid heaps. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then we see Culver putting a literal sock over his wiener, and they make his wiener look humongous. So I don't know if there was something in there or what, but good for you, kid. I can see why you get away with so much. That's for goddamn sure. Jeez. Man, I appreciate his, I appreciate that his enthusiasm for gay baiting. You know, sometimes gay baiting is like annoying, but sometimes I'm like, thank you. Thank you for considering us it, a population that you want to bait. <laughs> yeah, I don't know it's gay baiting if you're just trying to please a gay person, right? Isn't that just called gay taining? Like, ent gay taining? Gay taining. <laughs> Gay entertaining or gay, something. Gay entertaining. Gay entertaining. Gay, yeah. Gay. I don't consider it baiting if you're just like being hot. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know what yeah, gay yeah. baiting is. It's I fine think line gay baiting, baiting is where you like flirt. Pandering. You flirt and try to make somebody flirt back with you. So somebody is like looking for an excuse to like turn it against you. You know what? Baiting. You know what? Actually, I think it is. I think pandering is the proper word. Pandering. No. And gay baiting is when you pretend to be gay so you can capitalize off it. So you know what? Fuck gay baiting. Yes yeah, to fuck, gay baiting's terrible. Yeah, but you know what? Up putting with, a sock on pandering. his wiener? Yes. Yes. Gay pandering is great. Um, also, gay pandas are great, too. Who doesn't love gay Love panda? a gay panda. Love the support. Love it. I mean, aren't they just called pandas? Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> So they do. They put um they put on speedos and like crazy you know hair and stuff like that. And Joad does put on like a mask and a ball gag and all that good stuff. And so um, then Serena makes the food like giant sausages with she makes it look like mayo is the cum coming out of them and stuff like yeah. that. And Sky, I mean, here's the thing with Sky. I feel like someone in porn should have better lines because his lines are always like yes. I had a deck on my neck. I don't know. This one is, um, yeah, is, is that a banana in your pants? Are you happy to see me? I, like, mm, I don't know. I feel like you could do better. It's your profession. He's you on know? vacation, okay? He's like, you know what? I'm bringing my vacation yasses. It's not going <laughs> to be great material. Yas. You know? Sex on the beach. Is that a banana in, my po in your pocket? It's like, he's like, I'm just going to bring the JV material because I just don't have it in me. <laughs> <laughs> or do I? Get it. Uh, so the captain comes out and he's like, oh, boy. And, you know, they get vegan rainbow pancakes, lots of rainbow pancakes and stuff. So now they finish and they're going to go swimming. And we get a Margot Harry scene. I don't even know if Harry's really in Margot's scene in her mind or if it's just Margot in her mind. But she's like, well, look, dolphins. I want to swim with the dolphins. Hi, dolphins. <laughs> and he's like. You know what? Next charter, I'm going to ask to be on mornings. And she goes, oh, I appreciate it. I love mornings. I just asked to be on nights, by the way. Ha, oopsies. <laughs> no, she didn't say that. And he goes, we can have our coffee back. And she goes, yeah, we'll bring that back. That really platonic coffee that we have. He's like, yeah, yeah. And we can watch sunset on the sun deck, like a nice sunset date, something like that. And she's like, oh, you're asking me out. Yeah, yeah. I could. I could find I could find a way to get myself excited about that. So she's trying to do this, like, oh my god, I'm just a girl, a girl nervous for my first date. Hoo 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 hoo. So she goes, she's like, I'm gonna get ready quickly. It's like, oh, see you there. She's like, okay, but not before then. Got it. And uh, she tells us she enjoys a flirty relationship, and she's used to guys who just want sex, but Harry seems nicer than that, and. Um, she's she likes it, but she just looks so bored, doesn't she? Yeah, she's trying to convince <laughs> just, herself. I mean, they're so cute. I do really enjoy them, but I don't think she's interested in him whatsoever. But I think that she she knows that. I think she rec she wants to acknowledge that he's like a nice guy and a good guy for her, but she's just not interested. Yeah, I don't I don't think so either. So he is though. He's like super excited. And then um, he's like, cha ching success, sealed the deal. Oh, 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 oh my God, I did it. And Aish says, high fiving him. And um, he's just so goofy. You know, I feel bad yeah. for him. So then Aisha is now in the bridge looking over the CV of the new stew. And she's like, oh, she's pretty. And Captain Jason goes, don't feel left out now. 
She goes, it's all right. I've got some personality. <laughs> and then he says, he says, true north, 20 to 30 guests at a time with minimal interior, four stewardesses. I guess that's like her experience. And she was formerly a chief on this boat, true north. And Asia says, as long as Jamie doesn't have a million opinions and is okay with bottled lime juice, we're going to get along just fine. Oh. <laughs> And um, he's like, looks like she'll be here for dinner. It's like, then I can see what she's got. <laughs> so then um, Jesse's like, I've never paddleboarded before. I, do you think I can paddleboard on this dildo? I haven't given it back yet. Uh, does it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a big dildo, but I can take it. So Joao's going to go on the dil- <laughs> on the on the dildo on the kayak with her because I think that, no, she that would make like- me a Joao fan. Like, finally, Joao's done something worthwhile on this show. Fine. I'll take it up the ass. <laughs> so, anything for the guests. So, But they wind up on a kayak. Because I do remember she asked about paddleboarding. But they wind up on a kayak. It's a mystery. A mystery below deck. And I think it's they- harder to double up on a paddleboard. Or do people do double paddleboards? I don't know how that works. I don't Why think am I so. pretending? I don't know. I'm not standing up on a fucking thing in the water. Are you kidding? What's the no. point of standing in the water? Well, There's not meant for standing. Yeah, to look thin. That's why people do it. Okay. Does this so, ocean make me look fat? <laughs> so Margo Margo goes up to Zarina and she's like, Oh, Harry just asked. Oh, sorry. Harry just asked me if I wanted to have sunset drinks. And Zarina's like, Oh, that's the cutest thing. Now, question. Are you even remotely attracted to him? Because I'm not getting a lot of feeling on that front. She's like, no, but you can help me choose my outfit. My outfit of we're just friends, you know? What, like, is there some sort of boxy dress I could wear? You know, we're going to have drinks on the sun deck before we go out tomorrow. I just want to really give a real box forward, no female form figure, just to make sure it's really clear. Hmm. And so then we go to Joao, and Jason is now out kind of running the crew because Joao has been sent out on the water, which was kind of an odd choice. Uh, I was wondering why this choice was made, why you would send Joao out and then ask the crew to do something somewhat major. Um, And Jason is out there, which he's usually not. So basically, they have to get the tender up. But is it windy? What's happening? It's not windy. It's windy. And well, Culver explains, he goes, well... When out, you know, when you, when you get out in the northern sun, like the boat tends to roll a lot in the northern sea, that rolls a lot in certain seas. And if you're lifting a tender, as soon as you get that wind, as soon as you get that swell, that tender is going to swing. And you just have to be really careful in lifting it up. It's sort of like same principles and how to eat a Dutch baby. You just sort of get under it and be stable, get it right into your mouth before it falls off the fork. So, um, yeah, he's in charge of the crane thing or whatever that they use, which I was hoping Adam would be like, what the fuck, bro? Where's my fucking warning, bro? Because he hates that hook. Adam hates it. So they put the crane thing hook into the water, and Culver's in charge of moving the machinery around. And I just wouldn't trust Culver. Why do people trust Culver? He obviously doesn't know what he's doing. He's been in charge five minutes, and he's like, well, I guess we could do the front line of the, I don't know, maybe sweep something, swim. Should we swim? Do, who likes penguins? Like, he has no <laughs> initiative. Yeah, and it starts to get windy, and Culver keeps getting confused with the controls. And this tender starts to, like, spin around and sway. It's basically like the Wrecking Ball video. Like, I'm expecting Miley Cyrus to be sitting on top of it, singing along. And it's going everywhere. And Jason's like, Whoa, he's like, he's like, whoa, 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 one prop, one prop, one prop. What the fuck is he doing? One prop. And Joao's like, what the fuck is he doing? What's what's happening up there? It's it's I feel like I'm stuck over here and things are happening in Zim. What's happening over there? And Culver's just like, Durr, you know, like playing with all the controls. And then the boat just uh the tender swings and crashes into the side of the boat and again. And then again. And then Jason and then again. falls over. And then Jason falls over. And they showed a shot from where they're standing up, like the camera was looking up. And it looked like the boat was dented, didn't it? It looked like crazily dented. I mean, it looked like this thing was hammering the side of the boat. And now the boat was dented. Um, But I don't know. We'll see. Because the lady screams. And then it's to be continued. Mm. It looked like a disaster. It looked like very inept people handling something way too big for them. So, yeah. Yeah. 
that was episode one. Um, we will be back with the second episode of the night tomorrow. I think. Yeah, right. Tomorrow. So we'll be back with that one tomorrow. Tons of recaps this week. Real Housewives of New York, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Two of these, we did a trailer breakdown on our Patreon of the new Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. We've still got Orange County coming. And we have uh, our live show on Instagram Live, Crappy Hour, Monday night, this coming Monday at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Join us for that. And we will talk to you guys next time. We sure love ya. Bye. Bye, everyone. Watch What Crappens would like to thank its premium sponsors. Ain't no thing like Allison King. Ashley Savoni, she don't take no baloney. She's not just a Sheila, she's a Daniela. Itchels. Aaron McNicholas, she don't miss no trickleus. She's never scary, it's the Green Fairy. Jamie, she has no less namey. Hava Nagila Weber. Know your worth with Jason Kurth. Sip some scotch with Jessica Trotch. She's a little bit loony. Junie, she's always supplying. It's Kelly Ryan. Kristen the Piston Anderson. You're never alone with Lacey Monteleone. Let's give a kisserino to Lisa Lino. Megan Berg, you can't have a burger without the Berg. Roo Roo La Roo. The Bay Area Betches, Betches. And our super premium sponsors. Somebody get us 10 cc's of Betsy MD. We're taking the gold with Brenda Silva. Let's get real with Caitlin O'Neill. Don't get salty with Christine Pepper. Can't have a meal without the Emily sides. Nobody holds a candle to Jamie Kendall. She's not harsh, she's Jill Hirsch. My favorite Murdo, Karen McMurdo. We love him madly, it's Kyle Pod Shadley. Let's go on a bender with Lauren Fender. We want to hang with Liz Lang. The incredible edible Matthew sisters. Nancy Cease and DeSisto. Give him hell, Miss Noel. She's the queen bee, it's Sarah Lemke. Shannon out of a cannon, Anthony. Let's take off with Tamla Plain. She ain't no shrinking Violet Kuchar. We love you guys. Hey, Prime members, you can listen to Watcher Crappens ad free on Amazon Music. Download the Amazon Music app today. Or you can listen ad free with Wondery Plus in Apple Podcasts. Before you go, tell us about yourself by completing a short survey at Wondery.com.